the real focus, I guess, um, that I'm talking about is the true energy, okay? Which, if you guys don't know, there's a new ASME Section 9 code coming out in July that will be mandatory first of next year. And it's got an important aspect as far as how you calculate and measure heat input. Traditionally, the code today, or the older code, had two methods. One is the traditional volts, amps, times 60 divided by travel speed that works fairly well with pretty constant output processes like a spray art, okay? However, it's recognized that with these new waveform uh, processes, or even short arc, where the output is changing constantly, is not an accurate measurement of the actual heat input. Why that's important is because heat input relates to your mechanical properties, okay? So companies that are concerned about mechanical properties, when they do their procedure qualification record, they have to measure the heat input, okay? Then in their WPS, they have a range of heat input. If they go outside 10%, okay, they have to do a requalification. So ASME is recognizing that, look, the traditional way of measuring it, while it's consistent, it's not accurate, okay? So any waveform control process, they've added a new way of calculating the uh, energy, and it's, and it's based upon an instantaneous measurement. So our power wave, we call it true energy. It's a proprietary method, okay, for measurement. We're doing it at 10,000 hertz, okay? Um, and basically, you know, adding it up and you get a true energy value, which then you divide by the